If you bought these Lego sets just six months ago, you would have pretty much doubled your money. And one of my favorite things about Lego investing, that is buying Lego sets and holding them while the value goes up, is that Lego sets can get to insane multiples of their original value and they can get there very, very quickly in some cases. And over the last few months, I've been watching the sets that retired at the end of 2022 because as a Lego set retires, of course, then it starts to grow in value because it's not available anymore in retail stores. And as I've been watching some of these sets, and talking about them with people in my community, there are a few sets that have really stood out as massive performers. And these are sets that you would have doubled your money on if you bought them at just a small discount just six months ago. So I wanna jump in and talk about some of these sets. What are some of the big performers from last year? Now we're not gonna get everything. There are sets that I'm not gonna talk about here that are also incredible performers. I'm just gonna talk about five Lego sets that have shot up in value since 2022 when they retired and are performing incredibly well right now as a Lego investment. I'm gonna calculate the return on investments and tell you what you would have made if you bought the set. When I do that calculation, I am going to use a 20% below retail price because usually Lego investors, we try to get sets below the retail price. There are a few cases where I would pay retail price for a set, but typically I'm trying to get them below the retail price. And so when I'm calculating this return on investment, I'm just going to use a 20% below retail price as my purchase price for this calculation. So let's talk about some of these sets. Now, first up, we have the Batman classic TV series Batmobile. This is 76188. What an incredible set. This was super popular. It was exclusive, so you couldn't get it in all different stores, depending on where you are in the world. In the US, it was exclusive to Walmart. So it's not a set that was heavily produced. It was a little undersupplied, and, and this has definitely helped the values to creep up in the aftermarket. So this was a $30 retail price before it retired. Right now on Amazon, it's selling for $62. And this is gonna be the worst return on investment out of these five sets because they're gonna get better as we look at some of these sets. The number one on this list is absolutely incredible. So this one is 62 right now at the buy box on Amazon from a $30 MSRP. 20% off would have been, you would have been buying it for $24. Now, if we look at the price chart on this one, we're not going to see much really good information. And the reason for that is because this was an exclusive set to Walmart, Amazon never had it in stock. And if Amazon never has a set in stock, then the listing on Amazon is always a little inflated. And so even before before this set retired, you can see it was selling for $45, $48 on Amazon. Now in the last couple of months since retirement, you can see the price go up and get as high as 67 at one point right there. You know, we would usually, if the set was in stock on Amazon, we would see more of a ramp up on this price chart. The price chart doesn't look amazing because of that reason. This price back here should have been $30 because this was when it was still available in Walmart for $30 but just on Amazon, it was always a little inflated. Now this set was not heavily discounted throughout its life, but you could have used credit cards, you could have used uh, cashback websites and different things to create a little bit of a discount for yourself on this one. And then your profit would have been pretty nice on this. So if you bought this for $24, you sold it for 62 on Amazon, then after you've paid your selling fees to sell on Amazon, you would have had a profit of $22.60 or a return on investment of 94%. And again, this is the worst on this list of five sets that retired just six months ago that we're going to talk about here. So that is the Batman classic TV series Batmobile. Incredible investment, almost doubling your money on this one. Let's look at the next set here. So next up we have Lego Harry Potter Fox. This is the Dumbledore's Phoenix set from Harry Potter. 76394 is the set number on this one. Now, if we look at the price chart on this one, we see a bit of a better story than the last one. We do see a rise up, but we also still see that Amazon were never in stock on this set because once again, this was an exclusive set. This one was exclusive to Target. And so Amazon were never in stock, which means the listing was also a little inflated on this set. We do see a nice bump up after retirement on it, but it was a little bit inflated. Now the MSRP on this Fox set was $40. Now, a funny thing happened in the US. Target ended up raising the price on this set to $50. The MSRP was still 40 because at the Lego store, it was selling for 40. So that's the official MSRP. But if you could get it in Target, it would have been 50. And that was actually the only other place to get this set in the US while it was still available and not retired. So some people had to pay 50 for it. But if you got it at the Lego store, you would have got it for 40. Better yet, if you got it with gifts with purchases and with double VIP points and with Rakuten 10 or 15% cash back, you could have created a 
really good discount for yourself when you're buying this set and you definitely could have got it for 20% off. And so then you're paying $32 to load up on this set. What is it selling for today on Amazon? So recently on the price chart, we can see that selling right now for around $79. So that is not bad. $79, you could have bought it for $32 if you got a discount on it at Lego stores just a couple of months ago before it retired at the end of 2022. So if you paid $32 for it and sold it for $80 on Amazon today, then your profit after your selling fees will be $30.81. Your return on investment will be 95% percent on the Fox set. Again, we're just a few months into retirement on these sets. So if you continue to hold them, then your return on investment may continue to go up. So that is Harry Potter Fox. That is number four on our list here. And in number three, we have the Brickheads. This is the Demogorgon and Eleven set number 40549. This is Stranger Things, of course. It is one of the only two Stranger Things sets to ever be released. This one is also performing an excellent investment so far early in its retirement. Now, currently on Amazon, it is selling for $43.92 at the buy box. And if we look at the price chart on this one, once again, this was an exclusive set. You couldn't find it in most retailers, including on Amazon. This was mostly just sold in the Lego stores, so you couldn't really get it in large quantities. As a result, there was a good chance of this one performing well, and it has lived up to that hype in the Lego investing community. So this was a $20 MSRP. On Amazon before it retired, it was selling for $27.97. But once again, this is a slightly inflated price. The MSRP at the Lego store was $20. So immediately after retirement, we had this nice big jump. And you know, we should probably bring in the buy box as well here because I do remember that the buy box on Amazon got a nice inflation on this set. And that what happens is the buy box, which is this big buy button up here, sometimes that can actually be a higher price than the lowest price that's available for sale. Uh, that is because people pay extra to have the two-day shipping or the one-day shipping from Amazon Prime and the different benefits with, that come with it. And so if you get the buy box as a third-party seller on Amazon, sometimes you can charge a little bit more. And if we look at our price chart here, the pink color denotes the buy box. So we can actually see that this buy box price went up to at $57.89 at one point in January. Now recently it has come back down again and the buy box right now is at $43.92. So if you were to sell today as an FBA seller, you would likely be selling at $43.79, which is still a phenomenal investment if you got it at a little bit of a discount when it was still available. Now, again, this has come down recently, so uh, that will bounce back up again. But if you were able to get this set at a slight discount, once again, using a combination of cashback and VIP points or gift of purchases at the Lego store, you probably could have got it for at least 20% off, and then you're paying $16 for it. Now, if you sold it at this buy box price today of $43.92, then your profit per unit will be $16.58, which is of course, you're doubling your money at that point if you spend 16 and you make 16.58 back. That is a return on investment of 104% on this investment into the Demogorgon and 11 Brickhead set. 104%, and this again is number three on our list here. In second place of these five sets that I've been kind of watching over the last couple of months, we have the Armors Mandalorian Forge. This is the Star Wars set, of course. Once again, we have a lot of attention on this set from the Lego investing community. This one was exclusive to Target, and as a result, is a little bit undersupplied in the aftermarket. Target actually did pretty big sales on this set, so you could have got it for even lower than 20% off. You could have got this for a really good price right before it retired and disappeared off the shelves. Since then, we've had a new season of The Mandalorian. We've had a lot more attention and popularity going back to The Mandalorian brand, and we've had a lot of attention on this set and a lot of people going out and looking for this set so it has been selling really really well as a result the low ball sellers have sold out the price has started to jump very very quickly and we have some really nice performance as an investment here so if we scroll down and look at the price chart here we can see that right before this retired you could get it on amazon for 32. now this was a 30 dollar msrp if you bought it for 20 percent off you would have been getting it for 24 dollars. again a lot of people bought it for less than that but on Amazon, we do once again see this kind of weird price chart where the price seems to be inflated even before it retired. And that is, again, because Amazon were never in stock on it. It was an exclusive item to target. 
Right before retirement, it did drop down to 32, which is closer to the MSRP. And then immediately after that, we have this really nice ramp up of the price over the next couple of months as the Mandalorian season came back out and as the excitement ramped up we have this price shooting up here if we bring in the buy box do we see anything different we do see a, an inflated buy box price for a while right now there is not one right now it's selling for around $70 uh, but the buy box at some point was, you know, was, as it was rising up, was higher than the mar the lowest market price. So the seventy dollar price that is available right now at the market price is what it is selling at. And if we got the set for twenty percent off, that would be t paying twenty four dollars for it. And then we sold it today at seventy dollars, which is the current going rate on Amazon. Then our profit per unit will be thirty dollars and ten cents. That is return on investment of 125 percent again this is in six months of hold time so incredible incredible investments here in just a few months of retirement and the last set we're going to talk about here number one on this list with the highest return on investment in just six months after retirement this is 40558 the clone trooper command station this was a very very cheap almost like a battle pack it was 15 dollar msrp um, super, super simple set. But some people in my inner circle community talked a lot about how this set was going to be a winner and they were right. This set took off like a rocket. This is currently selling for $42.89 at the buy box on Amazon. And if we look at this price chart, what do we see? Well, actually, you know what? This doesn't show us a whole lot here. Bring in the buy box and we can see the actual selling prices because it is inflated on this set. But again, we don't see much and actually looks like this listing did not exist before January. So uh, this listing was late being created. Again, this was an exclusive set. It was not available on Amazon. And so we have this listing uh, is, is new and we don't see price history before the retirement, which happened at the end of 2022. We just see more recent price history. In any case, it is a $15 MSRP set. You could have bought it at Lego stores for 15. In fact, you could have got it for lower, once again, using cash back and credit cards and gift for purchases and VIP points. So with that, you could have got it for at least 20% off. Now, if you got this set for $12, then your profit per unit would be somewhere in the region of $20.71. That would be a return on investment of 171% on your initial $12 investment. And again, with Lego investing, we're not just buying one unit. We're not just paying $12 and making $20 back. We're buying multiples of each, of course, and this one would have been an incredible investment for anybody who picked it up. So this is five sets in the last six months since retirement that you would have doubled your money on or pretty much doubled your money on. I know the first one was 92% return, but it's almost there. If you got a better discount than 20%, you would have been doubling your money for sure. And some of these sets are just performing incredibly well. And again, it's six months after retirement. If you wait a little longer, who knows where the price could go from here. Now, if you want to learn what Lego sets are retiring this year in 2023, I have a retirement list available. You can download it. Grab the list down below in the description and you can download that straight to your device and check out the retiring sets. But as usual, just make sure you're watching any changes that happen throughout the year because that does change quite often. And if you pick some amazing Lego sets to invest in at the end of 2023, who knows, maybe six months later, you'll be sitting on one of these incredible winners of 100% return, doubling your money after just six months months.